they come from there. So you can yeah. the start was not that bad. Yeah. But I I couldn't understand it. Yeah. Um, you ready? You ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, hi everybody. We're here on day one of the uh, World Championships. Um, one race today. We had um, two general recalls. A uh, few boats were sent home with a black flag. Um, I've got Paul Ricard here with me, the man uh, who won today. Uh, just going to ask you, Paul, what, what do you think about the two recalls? Do you think the line was set fair? What I would say, uh, what I have a difficulty to understand, why we got a recall when there was only one boat taken out. Yeah, I agree. And the only thing can be uh, the race officer think he couldn't see. He didn't think it was fair to yeah. take more. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's always confusing. Uh, and uh, he maybe should have told us all the radio at the... At the I only taking one boat because this dead boat was so far ahead, so I could not see the yeah. other boat. Yeah. Because this... You, 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 it's take a lot of your power to get a, book, a perfect start and when you do yeah. all the preparing and get the start and you get on and then you suddenly see that there's only one boat taking out then you get a little bit frustrated I yeah say. yeah and then um, well they, they did a general recall uh, with a black flag and then another start with a black flag and uh, this time I was a little bit surprised because the wind went quite a few degrees to the right which made a complete bias at the boat and again a lump of boats went over and this time he recalled uh, rather than postponed because of course that's always the option if he postpones the start then nobody gets black flagged yeah and he did say that if the line wasn't fair he would he would do that yeah but he didn't he recalled the start and so six more I think were sent home yeah anyway um, the race did uh, get underway eventually on the third start now, uh, which end of the line did you start? We started uh, in the middle of the line. Yeah. It seems to be very, very much traffic with a committee boat yep. and very, very much traffic... At the pin? At the pin. Because they want to get into the tide. Yeah. yeah. And uh, what I think everybody maybe got wrong today was that we were starting one o'clock. Yes. And yesterday when we had the really, really strong tide, we were up with the first mark about three o'clock, four o'clock. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and, and as it's, it's take one hour every day later, uh, I think they, they didn't got that 100% right. No, no. So the, so the left wasn't quite so crucial on the first beat? No. No. We, but, we started in the middle as well, and like you said. And uh, I also saw a dark cloud on the left, because there was quite a, a, a substantial shift yeah. Halfway up, wasn't there? Yeah, there, there which was, we both tacked on. There, there was a big shift. Yeah. And then, and then, in fact, as you get to the top mark, yeah. the tide's coming more from the right, and uh, we were lifted up, weren't we? We can't. We can say, looking backward, at uh, with that big shift, uh, the boat that actually sta started with a committee boat within a 10, 15 degrees, 20 advantages. Yes, by it didn't get anything out of it. No, because of that shift. Yeah. Yeah, and of course. That is, is how can you know that? No, whatever. that's right. So anyway, we we, we did a three upwind and a, th a two downwind full course, in about sixteen knots of wind. Now I saw Uli Lieber was up there too. Yeah. Who's uh, he's older than you, isn't he? Nah, uh, it's quite close. <laughs> yeah, and, and he, we, he we both sailed together yeah. in Flying Dutchman in in '68 in the Olympic in Mexico. Okay, and he well, won. He, he won. got he got a silver medal. I okay. And I was number <coughs> six, seven. Okay. So uh, it was quite good fun to see. Uh, so we have my, he, he's really come back. He's really have good speed on the boat. Yeah. And he was the one that come from the left side okay. up to the first mark. Yes. So he was yeah. very, very close to us. Yeah. And, and yeah, we, we, uh, there was a lot of changing, of course, today because of the shifts. And I know a few people were uh, looking for the marks. The marks were a little bit difficult to find. I know when we were in the Gold Cup two weeks ago, we had a nice big yacht with a tall mast and a, an orange triangle yeah. up, up the mast. And that made it a little bit easier to locate them. But did you have any trouble today finding the marks? Uh, yeah, um, I think I have the same problem as everybody else have. And one thing, we, we, we couldn't see the mark. When we could see there was some rubber boat and some... Yeah, a lot of activity. Uh, there was some yeah. activity, three yeah, or I four agree. boat, and that was what we could see. Yeah. And I agree with you, they, they will have been smart because the waves are so big. Yes. 
and to have a, a big boat up there with a big flag, yeah. that, that would have been a, a nice, yeah. nice to have that. Yeah. Because there was a big change on the race course. There was, you can say, uh, the, the the Marcos moved to Paul there, eh? yeah. but it was actually moved a half a mile to Port. <laughs> exactly, was very very long way to Paul there. Eh? Yeah, they they were major changes. It was they? a major change. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think when the when the course is so long. You don't need to go quite so drastic. No. Just a subtle little yeah. movement one yeah. way or the other. But anyway, the race was completed and we've got uh, two tomorrow and two the next day. Now, I didn't see any of the sort of uh, people that you would expect to see up there today, you know, other than yourself, of course. I'm talking about the trans bunkers and uh, some of the Russians. There was a, and Laurie Smith. I think a lot of the oh, top, you know. Oh, uh, of course, Afghani was up there. Afghani, he was actually second in one day. He was, was he? he was pushing Uli very hard, but then he uh, tacked off. Okay. And I think uh, that, uh, I gave him a little bit of a hard time because okay. I like Uli better. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I think. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so we got. Uh, so who who do you think is going to feature now, and uh, who's going to be sort of coming at us? Do you think? In the uh, next races, uh, and you know, it's a very, very old make. It's the yeah. first race. Yeah. I mean, I like to stop now, of course. Yeah, like, of course. I yeah. don't like. I cannot see why we should continue. No, no. But there, uh, it's not like that. No. We're going to have seven races. Yeah. Eight races, and, I think. Uh, even eight races. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> should be light wind tomorrow, so uh, I think the race officers should actually have a chance it today. So we got two races today. Yeah, yeah but. But. Uh, yeah, we, there we, we go. We've got the two races for the next two days, and then they've got three days after that, yeah, yeah. should we have to catch yeah, up. So yeah, yeah. I think it's a nice program. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so well done today. Thank you. Fantastic uh, race. And uh, good luck for the rest of the week. Thank you. And uh, we'll keep you posted uh, on tomorrow's races.